What a perfect day to have a wedding. Leading up to this wedding day, uh, Catherine kept asking me, what is the weather going to be on September 30th? <laughs> it's because I'm a meteorologist in NASA. So I keep telling Catherine that this is your wedding day. There's no way I'm going to allow any weather system to move within 500 miles of Charlottesville. We started dating six years ago, and his story and my story is never going to match up. His is, um, I tried really hard to get you, but you wouldn't pay attention to me. And mine is like, I, are you sure? I really didn't notice. From my view, she was playing very hard to get. I tried to flirt with her, but uh, at every group gathering that we would get together, she would literally ignore me. We had kickball games up in the National Monument in DC. At the end of the game, we were lining up giving high fives. She went, gave everyone high fives. And when it was my turn, she just turned and walked away. But I guess I was just ob oblivious, but he kept pressing on and eventually there were there was a I guess a specific incident when I kind of knew it was it. Hey stranger. Oh wow. So pretty. You look so handsome. Aww. Oh. This is the dress I've been hiding for a long time. Let me chin it. I'm I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> Pretty. Yeah. Ah. I'm so excited. Oh. I asked him if he wanted to go camping with me and my family and our extended family friends. We were sharing a tent with my parents and I was like, this guy's gonna leave me today. It's he he truly did enjoy the trip. So that was when I kinda knew like how important family was for him and to me and stuff. So The thing that remained with, with Chinese weddings has always been the traditional tea ceremonies. The symbolism of the tea ceremony is to, is one, to thank their parents. It's a symbol of gratitude um, for their love and care that they have for, for raising them. And it also symbolizes the joining of two families. I found this old Google chat that I had with Katie when she first told me that she started dating Ben. <laughs> so I started off by asking, you know, so Ben isn't one of those like, I'm too cool for you kind of guys, right? And you responded, no, he isn't, deaf nut. He's, he's uber chill, super humble and chill. Don't worry, not a D-bag. <laughs> and you finish with and yeah so he's thinking about getting LASIK for his eyes and his friend is like don't worry it's only gonna hurt for four hours but Ben's like but that's four hours I can't see Katie And here we are six years later on your wedding day. You know, Katie, I'm really happy because you found a guy and he's great, you know. He's everything you listed and I can testify to that even. He's uber chill, <laughs> humble, nice, and most importantly, someone who's got eyes on you. I do, today, tomorrow, and always. I didn't know we were still writing this long. This is kind of novel.
year of Benjamin, 2,412. That's the number of days since I first heard your voice. And today, I will get to hear the same voice make lasting vows. You've been the best part of my life for the past six years. You are the calm to my crazy, the quiet to my loud, the confidence to my doubt, and the silly to my seriousness. Each day, I look at you in awe and wonder how I was so blessed to have crossed paths with you. Today, I've never been more confident in this, in this decision I've made. I cannot wait to see you at the end of the aisle and call you my hubs from this day forward. I love you, Dodo. Aww. So my last name is she, his is two, and that makes it really easy for hashtags. And the one that people keep, that they kept pressing for was she waited too long. <laughs> so we all six years, I mean, she she waited too long is, um, in a, I guess an understatement, but you know, they, they say the best things worth having for are worth waiting for. So really excited for today. Let's start off with Katie. I say to Ben, yo, when you gonna make an honest woman out of Katie? Ben, soon. Me, what? Really? Are you serious? Ben goes, I think so. That's awesome. Six months after I first find out that he was going to propose to her. Me, hey, did you get the ring yet? You know, you mentioned that you were going to do that after Katie closed in the house. Ben goes to me, I got time. Her closing got delayed. January, Ben tells me, I got the ring. It's now April, 10 months after I found out that he's gonna marry this girl. Keep in mind, guys, he's had this ring for three months now and he keeps it inside Katie's house. <laughs> so when are you gonna propose to her? Ben goes, I'm not sure. I haven't thought about it yet. Probably after I finish the program at work. June is here. Unofficially, one year after I find out about his plan to propose. He goes and tells me, dude, I'm going to propose next week. He texts, me, he texts me a week later that he has bad news. He was playing softball and sends me a pic of his busted knee. Yep, he's never gonna propose. But I tried to get on one knee and I couldn't, so. I had to gently slowly get down with my busted leg sticking straight forward instead of having to bend. I can tell you that it's never easy for any father to give his daughter away. Katie, even though you are Mrs. Tew now, you still the same little angel that you and your mom and I Flow into this world at the West County Hospital in North Carolina 30 years ago. I'm very happy and satisfied that you chose Ben as your husband. Ben, you know that you are getting a wonderful wife, you know that, right? I think she will take good care of you, but that's not something I worry about. I'm worried about the opposite. <laughs> God bless you two and congratulations. I'm so proud and happy for you two. Ben, as I know, you grow up from a little child, and now you be an adult. Mom and I, very proud of you. Nothing what we can say is, um, we wishing you and blessing you have the happy life together, and supporting and sharing the joy, and creating your future in your new journal, and starting today. May God bless you and bless you all. Thank you. Happy for you, man. Cheers. 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 Catherine, my love, on this special day, I'm like two words in, I'm gonna cry. I will always be forever yours and you will be forever mine. Words cannot describe 
how much you mean to me and how much I love you. I feel like I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Getting married to you is my dream come true. I hope you are not sick of me because now you are stuck with me forever. See you down the aisle, my sexy mama. <laughs> love, Ben. Aww. Aww. A pony? It's a little pony. <laughs> I've been wanting to go back to horseback riding for the longest time and he knows I've been trying to. I just haven't found a good time to. So I guess this will, this will suffice until I can get on my real pony. <laughs> Aww, he got earrings. Really pretty ones. Guess I'm changing. So pretty. It is with joy and happiness that we gather on this occasion to celebrate the union of Benjamin II and Catherine Shi in the holy bond of marriage. We are gathered here to share this most important moment in their lives. They have fallen in love with each other, built a bond with one another, and have already begun to live their lives together. Today, we have the privilege of being present as Ben and Katie affirm their friendship and their love for each other by making a promise that stretches into the future. As Ben and Katie's family and friends, you form the community of support that surrounds them. Each of you, by your presence here today, is being called upon to uphold them in honoring and loving each other. Through your marriage and through your love, may your lives be filled with laughter, joy, peace, and comfort for all the years to come. I'm most looking forward to just seeing him at the end of the aisle. Our relationship is a very like lighthearted, fun, kindred spirit kind of relationship. He brings out like the inner kid in me, keeps me silly and stuff. So that'll just be a moment of, I think it'll be like a surreal moment where we just kind of take it all in and I see him at the end of the aisle. Benjamin, here we are, 2,276 days later, but they say anything worth having is worth waiting for, and I'm sure glad I waited all 3,277,440 minutes of the last six years to finally be standing here with you today. Little did I know the man who had the same birthday as me, the same car as me, played the same sports in high school as me but also one day share the same love as me. I want you to know how amazingly blessed I feel to be able to call you my forever. Because when I look at you, I see the most genuine, loving, patient, and caring man I've ever met. When I think of our future, a lifetime with you is simply not enough. You are my best friend, my co-pilot, my partner, the love of my life, and today I get to call you my husband. I promise you that I am yours and I will love you always. I promise to comfort you in times of trouble and distress. I promise to build with you a home that is compassionate, full of respect, love, and laughter. Everything in me recognizes you as my forever. When I look at you, I can feel it. I look at you and I'm home. I love you. Definitely should have went first. <laughs> we rock, paper, scissors this out. <laughs> Looking back brings me to the tears. Oh, I want to see this through. Darkest days, you know that.
Catherine, my love, in the beginning, we were barely friends. When I first saw you and Cameron, I saw this really, really, really cute girl. I was very fortunate that we do share the same birthday because after seeing you and Cameron, I thought I would never see you again. But luckily for me, we started hanging out more, but that led to a lot of confusion. We did also end up discussed meeting up at community day for work, but when that day came, you saw me and you walked the other way. <laughs> I even had to pretend to not know how to swim just so that you could teach me. <laughs> but luckily, there was just a change. Maybe it was my handsome looks, maybe it was my charm or charisma, but you took a chance on me. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to show you how much you mean to me. I just want to let you know that I'm just a boy standing in front of this amazing girl asking for her to love me. But woman, I just wanted to... <laughs> I just wanted to... I just wanted you to know how much I love you. From this moment, you are my one. Right beside you is where I belong. As long as I live, I will always love you. I promise to always be your best friend and be loyal and true to you. I promise to call dibs on you all day and every day. I promise to love you to death to us part. We will never be apart. I love you. now, by the authority vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. Then you may kiss your bride. Bring these two together and you have this beautiful harmonious relationship, almost a yin and yang, built on love for each other, love for friends and family, and love for adventures. <laughs> ben also is a mischievous prankster who absolutely loves to play jokes, most especially pie. Pi is friends. I wish you nothing more than an eternity of happiness. And Vic, Agnes, and I 
look forward to more adventures with you guys.